We are the storytellers, the prophets, the makers of myths that bring meaning to these times. We are caught in the crossfire of destruction and creation, wrapped in a mystery greater than any we have ever known. This is the time for great imagining, and it is up to us as artists and educators, citizens of goodwill, co-creators of culture, to create the conditions in which the art of life can become the value most fully recognized and most widely acted upon. This is the time to fuse our inner wisdom with outer action, to embody our creative potential and bring to life new structures, new stories, new creations that shine a light on the beauty and oneness of humankind. As the age of information gives birth to an age of transformation, each of us is a midwife in the process. The stories that we tell, the words we speak, the thoughts and visions we bring to life, these are the tools of a new revolution. A revolution of awareness of our power as creators, a revolution of commitment to use that power as a force for good, and a revolution of regard for this earth, our mother, the creatures, our relations, and our sisters and brothers whose call for compassion rings day and night. We are involved in an epic shift of consciousness, propelled by an evolution that we are participating in daily through our thoughts, our actions, and our manifold creations. Transformation is not happening to us, but through us. We are the agents of change. The very things that we hunger for, deep joy, peace within and without, lives of meaning and passion, justice and freedom for everyone, these are outgrowths of our intentions, our collaborations, and our commitments. They are not given to us, but are born through us as we embody and express our creative spirit. The old ways are failing us, and we are the bearers of the new. We are the writers of the new sacred texts. We are the leaders of a spirit-fueled revolution in global consciousness and communion. We are the creators of a culture that inspires the soul, reveals the spirit, and fuels the body for a life of purpose, passion, and joy. We ourselves are the tools of mass construction. What we focus on, we attract. What we pray for, we heal. What we create brings life and light to the world. Our words and our creations are fertile and carry a prophetic strength. The ability to be not merely a child of the present, but a mother of the future. The answers to our crises 
will surface from deep within as we quiet our lives and give voice to our souls in all the ways we can. As shapers of this culture, let us remember in the darkest of times that you and I are the light of the world, our voices like candles, our love like the sun.